Okay, Article 23, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to repave three roads at the Brookfield Cemetery. Uh, I would like to make a motion to so, support that. Uh, I was going to do a capital yeah. approval that recommends to pass over. Let, oh, they recommend to pass over. Okay, I'll second it for discussion. Okay. Um, there's a couple of reasons to pass it over. One of them is just that the cemetery commission didn't mention it during their capital planning. Okay. The second reason is that the way it's currently phrased, it could be perceived as actual paving, and it would be better if they're going to note repair of the road that they specify that they'll be using materials that are compliant with the, uh, Mass Historical Society and, and National historic district standards uh, because they can't actually pave those roads. They can be graded, there's some gravel materials they can use, but they can't actually pave them. So we're best to pass this over and reconsider it in the fall. Yep. Are the roads paved now? They're, it's, a, it's, okay. a, it's like a packed gravel that's just compliant with all the regulations. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Yeah. You're, 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 no, all in favor to pass over. Um, <laughs> in light of that, I'd like to open discussion real fast amongst our committee. We thought we were getting a real steal of a bargain of $25,000 to repave those roads with pavement. We really did. We were like, wow, that's a great price. I don't know where they got it from. But if we can get it for twenty five grand. let us do it. Um, and uh, for the reasons that Beth has stated, I, I think we should reconsider our vote. Um, and I, I, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, do pass. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So, we'll move on to 24. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money to pour a concrete pad at the Brookfield Transfer Station. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. We had support at that. Okay. Well, okay. Article 25, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money for a new cruiser. I'd like a motion to support this motion motion. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, our committee voted to, uh, to not support that. So. Okay, 26. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer or borrow some money for a cruiser radio and three portable radios that are necessary due to the mandated state upgrade. Motion to support. Second. Any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Where are you guys? Advisory support that. Okay. Okay. 27, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money for the installation of upgraded snow cleats, guards above entrances at the town hall, or take any action relative there, too. Uh, motion to support. Second. They, this is the snow, snow cleat thing? <laughs> yes, I, yeah. I support that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah what yes. happened with the CFPC is that, um, I think they recommended passing over this previously, it was slotted for 2019 and there wasn't any discussion with them about pulling it for a year and they pulled it for a year because I know I expressed concerns to the town hall improvement committee because I almost got clawed in one day coming in after ours so <laughs> so they're going to have the same meeting anyway so yeah, yeah. so motion to support get a price on that Madam Chairman there's uh, 25,000 that's what it was yeah 25,000 oh, 25,000 correct okay. Thank you. All in favor, support <coughs> that. Right. Advisory support this as well. 28. See if the town will vote to raise the appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money for the purchase and installation of a platform lift for the access to the second floor of the town hall. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ready, guys? Advisory support of that. Article 29, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate 
I transfer or borrow a sum of money to purchase approximately 4.36 acres plot located at 14 Kimball Street. Motion to pass over. Okay. I'll explain when we get to the town meeting. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm expecting you to speak on that one. Yes. I, I, totally, I made okay. a commitment that we would have it on the warrant. I didn't say that we were going to pass it. Right. Yeah. All in favor, pass over? Aye. We also passed over. We also passed yes. over. Three <clears> town <throat> harmony. What's that? We, we were unclear on the benefit to the town of acquiring that property, so we passed, we decided to pass over. That's why I voted in favor. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll give one story at the time of meeting. Yep. Don't worry about it. Do we have Got to it. read the whole article here on 30, or is everybody pretty much? I think we're all familiar with we're it. We're all familiar. This is whether or not the <coughs> library trustees and board of selectmen would like to lease certain property and improvements thereon, known as 18 Comet Street. And uh, for the library in the amount of $16,500 for the rent for the initial year of the lease. And the Motion to support. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, I know we opposed this. We did because it's on it twice. We don't know why it's a support. but 8250 is where we have the Passover is at. Um, where is it on yeah, twice? Yeah, that, what, it's, 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 it's listed it's on there. It's on your sheet. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's, it's listed twice because we received two different numbers, and each time we said no. Yeah, I don't know how to put this for it. Uh, you know, what the concern is the amount of opening of that property. Was, what, was, that big okay, what, was so this, what, did, did we switch our vote this past Thursday? Yes, I was no, at, I was not no, at the no, meeting no, this past no, Thursday. No, no, it's a tight <laughs> So we did not support. So you're not this. supporting it. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Moving on. The reason we didn't support it was we were afraid it would be in the Thirty-one. To see if the town will vote to raise, appropriate, transfer, or borrow a sum of money to support the Commonwealth of Mass mandated software conversion to be completed by the assessing department. I'd like a motion. Motion to support. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. What was your who, who, who proposed uh, this? Successors? <coughs> yes. How we that? Transfer money to support Common. Uh, uh, we indicate that we did not support this. That, this uh, I think is a misprint. I, I, think, I, think, I think that's a misprint, and that's I also a type of misprint. We have to do this. Okay. okay. This. We approved. No, we had approved it. It's just Which it's not right oh, here. All right. Our, 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 if we're, if we're really lucky, it's going to cost a lot less than this because of somebody that, that we just linked that out with. But right. we want him to have the money so that he does have yeah. to pay full value. Uh, we're all in favor of what Brown wants to do. Okay, so, okay, so, so, so the advisory supports Article 31. Okay, 32. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow some of money to purchase noise decibel meters. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Where are you guys? We passed over. We passed we, over. We, we did not speak. <coughs> we kind of figured we've got to have a law that sa says what the decibel level is. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what good is it needed? There is a law. There's a state law, but the problem is the, uh, it's, we, and, we, and according to you, we can get the equipment on the weekend, but not the people who run it, correct? Mm -hmm. So it's possible we can get equipment from the state. The intent was to have our own so that we would be trained on our own equipment and be able to determine which people would have purview, whether it be conservation commission, train our police officers, what have you, to enforce the state noise regulation. But in order to do that, you have to have NIST traceable, calibratable noise decibel meters. Mm -hmm. So $1,000 will actually get us two meters in a calibrator or three meters and we send them out for calibration. <coughs> Um, and it would allow us to, to do an enforcement of the existing state law. We can enforce the state standard. Very brief, Dave. Yes, I'm almost 32. What's the uh, purpose of this noise? Uh, 
meter. I mean, what are we, what are we, do, what are we buying this for? Motorcycles on Route 9? What are we doing? We're going to have to spend town's money. Is this against that race track down by the pine box? I, I wanted to ask that. Yeah. 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 Where is the noise we're talking about? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm actually the one that proposed it, and I'm probably the, the least impacted by the by the motocross track. But the bottom line is, is that if we're we, we're getting complaints from citizens, the only way to appropriately evaluate whether the citizens' complaints are valid complaints or not is to have a means by which to measure the sound at their property lines. So, regardless of whether the complaint is against the motocross track or if people started flying drones, I mean, we have to look forward as well. Uh, there's a lot of people that have like little remote controlled aircraft fields and they start getting complaints about the noise from that. Um, so if we have the appropriate equipment, that way we have a lot of citizens who think we're, we're not necessarily doing anything to enforce what the state regulations are. Uh, mm -hmm. This gives us the opportunity that if we have citizen complaints, we can in a consistent manner evaluate whether those complaints are have merit under the state noise regulation, regardless of the source. So the current, the current source of the complaints is the motocross track, yeah. um, but this would give us a way to kind of evaluate, because a lot of it is perception, you know, and, and this would allow us to have a way that determines are they really getting hammered with the type of, of noise pollution that's considered by the state law to be noise pollution. Got it. I thought the um, state environmental people have been down there many times and they found nothing wrong, so <coughs> is that true? That's not true. That's not true. Okay. Have they been called down? Yes. Okay. And what was their findings? Was? Depending on the timing, there have been people who have been stopped. There have been people who have been stopped, really? Yep. Interesting. Okay. I just don't think the taxpayers should have to be paying for it. Well, I, I, think, I think if people want it, they can vote for it. So right. that's why I, it goes in front. Of, that's why it's going in front of town meeting as an individual article. We're yeah. not just paying for it out of selective expense. Yeah. Yeah. If if people don't like <clears throat> the sound they're getting hammered with, they could come to town meeting and they could vote for their sound meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I expect a whole ton of people. <laughs> just just as, as far as uh, point though is that we it, it's up to the, the town to enforce the state order. The state no, would not enforce it. No. The, we, we have to enforce it ourselves and we have to make sure we calibrate it and all that. It's yeah. not the state that does, that does that. The, the state will enforce it but they only have officers available at certain times. If we choose to staff in a way that allows us to, our police, when our police write a speeding ticket, they're really writing a speeding ticket against the state law on most of our streets that aren't posted, okay? So it's just like with that, our, our, our police, and I believe our Conservation Commission under certain conditions can actually write tickets under certain, certain or Board of Health can actually write a ticket under, under state law, whatever, whatever board has purview in that, in that space. So uh, this, this allows us to at least partner with other departments within the town and say, you know, here's the complaints, here's the means to actually enforce it legally. In the original permit for the track, they were supposed to put up a 20-foot noise barrier along that side, which the EP just kind of like, oh, gee, you know? So we have to work on our own. I guess there's, there's very little support there yep. from them. I would make a motion to rescind our previous one and revoke. And you make a motion to support? Support. I'll second that motion. All in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Save. Any no's? One no. Got it. Moving on to 33. This is a citizen's petition. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer or borrow a sum of money to place a sidewalk at the start of Lake Road to White's Landing on the north side of the road. Motion to pass over. Second. <coughs> well, we really can't pass it over. We can just vote to support it because, you know, they have to, a citizen's position. We can't. You have yeah, to yeah, vote. Yeah, that's right. That is right. You can't. No, you cannot. Um, we can, oh, we can, okay. we can vote that we okay. don't support it. We don't, don't support, support it. Okay, no, so. Don't support no. We uh, We also voted not to support I think the reasoning was that to, to support for, for this, and maybe this could, should be should be verified and, and said at town meeting, everyone, you'd have to so you'd have to widen the road enough to put the sidewalk in, and it's all about environmentally protecting land. That I guess they're trying to pass and they won't give up the land to put it in. So 
it doesn't make much sense to and once you start do it. And so, once you start doing this on one street, then yep. people are going to get to more and more on other, other streets. We tried to get the DEP to let us allow us to put a sidewalk from White Landing up to Long, Long, uh, Long Hill Road. And they wanted to know where we were going to put it. And I'm going, it doesn't make any sense. Which is that you can't put it in the wetland. They would not let us allow that. So that's the real reason why we can't do this. Right. Okay. So you didn't support this either? Correct. Okay. Article 34. <clears throat> right, to see if the town will vote to aggressively enforce the littering and trash disposal by ticketing as prescribed under Mastering the Law 6, is that? Yep, yeah, so this is Six. Mastering the Law yeah. so. Title 1, Chapter yeah. 270, Section 16. This ticket can be criminal or civil. A ticket from the district court is payable within 21 days. Penalties for criminal tickets in a calendar year include fir first offense up to 500 thousand five hundred dollars subsequent offenses up to fifteen thousand and potential seizure of your car penalties for civil tickets in a calendar year include first second and third offense twenty dollars and potential suspension of your driver's license for up to seven days fourth and subsequent offenses a hundred dollars and potential suspension of your driver's license up to seven and this is another citizen petition motion to support second all in favor? Aye. Aye. Advisory Aye. passed over. Well, you really can't. Well, you really can't. You hook yourself to say you don't well, support it. All we need to say is what is the distinction between not support and Passover? The Passover, we don't even vote on it. Right. So we just right. kind of table it. Uh, but on this, you can't. Can vote Passover? Well, we we had voted to pass over. I don't I don't know why we're not aggressively enforcing the learning. We're just so it's just a thing to say you start enforcing the law. Yep. Yeah. This is this is the law and enforce it. Right. Well, I mean, how come we're not enforcing it? Right. I don't understand. I, I, well, I, I, I think that's, that's what we were confused by. Right? I guess. Yeah, I, don't I just don't enforce. think we were considering it had anything to do with us. It's right. Like, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't um, pass it over because it's a citizen right. position. You well, cannot. in that case, I mean, the law's on the books. We should be following them anyway. I have no problem at all with making a motion that we support this article. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Okay. Beautiful. 35. To see if the town will vote to apply a sum of money for free cash to reduce the tax rate or take any action relative there, too. So we'll just have to wait and see. We do support this article. I mean, I'd like a motion to support. Motion to support. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. No. no. Oh, okay. And my reason being is that um, based on the advice of Clark Rowell, we really need to be trying to set a focus of bringing about 5% free cash back to the town and then uh, on an annualized basis and then get our stabilization from the 8% it's currently at mm -hmm. up to between 10 and 15% in the hopes that within two to three years it would be eligible to actually go to the bond market for any of our debt. So if we apply the free cash to reduce our tax rate, we won't have it available to place it into stabilization at the end of the meeting to potentially raise our levels of stabilization. So and I think we're saying the same thing. This is, a, we pick a number. Yeah. And what we should do is, in picking the number, we should be consistent. Well, no, I don't think we're saying the same thing because it, it says to apply a, a sum of money, money to free cash to reduce the, the tax rate. So yeah. what that's doing is, in essence, basically saying we're going to use free cash to pay operational expenses, which is usually the worst idea ever, um, and, and something this town has historically never done. We put Maybe. our free cash into stabilization. That way we have it from a standpoint of in the event we have capital expenses or to, to show that, that we have a capability to carry through during periods of time if, if incomes come down. But to reduce the tax rate, we, we don't want to apply free cash to it. So it's a citizen's petition and has to stay on there, but I'm not supporting it. No, this isn't a citizen's petition. 
Yes, that was. Yes, yes. 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 Thirty-five. Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. Oh, it was. Yes. So, that's oh, the I'm going so, to reduce the tax rate. That's not. So the, oh, I didn't the see them. Sorry. So we put that article at the end. We put that article oh, at the end. And I, that that article I rescind that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Got, You're welcome. Well, well, I rescind my doing? motion. Okay. So okay. what are you doing with that? Support. Not, yeah, we're not going to support it. Yeah, there was confusion. They, they thought that Article 35 was actually Article 50, uh, 58, yeah, 58 right. Okay. Right. which is the move it to stabilization and start moving our stabilization to where it needs to be. Yeah, but we can agree not to support it, but we have to have it. But yeah, we have to have it on there. Yeah, we're yeah. Not mm -hmm. to support it. Yeah, right. This is this one. You have to have the, the capital plan in place and everything else. And then right. Right. Well, that's you get one, then you can do yeah. process with it. So, we right. go to the not to support it. That was right. okay. my confusion. Sorry. Sorry. Can I just say something? Just, I want to make sure I'm doing this the right way. Historically, what I've done is I say, um, support this article or do not support this article. And on the floor, They'll recommend passing over it. Yeah, so I that way. So that for said this, pass over, yeah, yeah, right. So when you so support, yeah, it's going to say support. It's not going to say pass over on the floor. You can pass it over if you want. All right. Okay. Thirty thirty six is also another one. Citizens petition to see if the town will vote to raise and transfer or borrow a sum of money to place a dry well at the entrance of the town's transfer station and recycling center and authorize the board of health to issue a contract for such work and oversee the project. A motion to support it, and the reason I, I know that is that it talks about a sum of money and they're talking about a thousand dollars. So, I would I like to motion. I'll support I'll second it. it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Where are you guys? We um, we voted to pass over to not support it. Um, you know, revisit anticipation of 2008 fall special town meeting. Mm -hmm. So it's not like the other side, it's $1,000 or something. Yeah, we didn't have, we didn't, we were looking for Yeah, we, I didn't have a figure, yeah, where'd that come from? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, for 1500 Is that something to make it so that that puddle's gone? The giant puddle that comes in front of the transfer station. I'd like to make that a I'd entertain a motion to support the uh, dry well uh, uh, repair for one thousand dollars. You have a motion. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. <laughs> we appreciate it. No, no, no. So we didn't know it was ten thousand fifteen. Yeah, that was the thing that we were. Thirty, thirty-seven. I don't like articles with no numbers on them. Yeah, that was a little scary. That made it. Yeah. Scary. Okay, 37. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to place street lights on the area of the Murray Memorial Bridge from Mill Road, should be Mill Street instead of Mill Road, to Town Farm Road at the entrance of Wagon Wheel Park and at the intersection of Rice Corner and Rice Corner Crossroads at the intersection of Gay Road and Rice Corner Road. Motion to not support. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you, anybody give you a figure? I don't see no, it. No, because this is sponsored by a citizen's petition. Yeah, the petition. Oh, we don't get figures. Yeah, we don't get figures. They wouldn't give us figures. We, we went by the figures that were given last year. This was passed over last year. Um, this was, situation a, this was, was on things. last year? Yes. On last yes, year. Was. The figure was $1,750. We got yep. done a lot of research. Right. Um, I think we presented it to, to okay. the select board. Um, and I think it was 1750. We, we looked it up, um, and that, I thought that was pretty reasonable just to put all the arms in that we need, and that, that was within figuring the price of electricity as well at our current rate, and for the, the red light bulbs and all that. And that's where the $200 buffer, uh, it was like 15, 1550 with a $200 buffer added to it. I thought for that amount of money, uh, I know you're pretty passionate, especially at the split up by work on so I was like, hey, road there, or race corner, I guess a girl has gotten killed there or whatever. And, so we just thought it was a we, we thought it was a, a good amount of of uh, good long for uh, for a little bit. Okay. So. Yeah, the, the challenge, the the reason why I didn't support it last time and why I still don't support it is in some of those areas. If you have Steve? a single street light, you're going to wind Thank up you. potentially causing more safety issues than you solve. 
What are the other the, ones? The, the isolated pool of light with the pool of darkness around it. Yes. Effect. Yes, that is that. That I find very concerning, and I don't know that it necessarily provides a safety zone. It, it gives a false sense of security in the lit area and the potential to ruin people's nights and around the neighborhood. So, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, and, and the map looks really good, but. <laughs> Getting a little extra. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> 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 well, we so, but anyway, I mean, you guys do what you want to do. That's sure. a skull leader. Okay, so do we go on? Yeah, we do. Question. Question. These are fully amendable on the floor, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's just our recommendation. Right. So not the rest of your committee. So you're supporting it? Referring to the evidence. <laughs> 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 I'm going to hold on here. So, you guys are supporting? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so this, this, so the Board of Selectmen is the Board of yeah. Selectmen yeah. not Question. supporting? In this board of Selectmen, no. And or yes. Yeah. They, they are. For a specific amount of 17 to Right. Yes, for 17. Yeah, can, can, okay. can, can we limit our support? We can yes, we can so you right. want 1750? Support for 1750, that's what you're saying? It'll be in motion. That's what we approve. Okay. 38. Okay. 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 To see if the town will amend Section 5. 5A of the town bylaw in accordance with statutory changes made by Municipal Modernization Act, Chapter 218 of the Acts of 2016 by making the additions noted below and underlining text and deleting language Motion. as shown through. Motion to support. Second. Um, David? Uh, Aye. Uh, advisory support of that. To see if the town will vote to accept the provisions of General Law Chapter 60, Section 15B, and establish a tax revolving fund for the fiscal year. Oops, we better change that to. I don't know. Did I get that from the lawyer? I think that shouldn't that be a nine. Yep. Commencing no, for July. fiscal year commencing. FY. No, this is correct. 2018, this year. Yeah, it's all okay. All right, got it. All right, got it. Okay, 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 Section 2, mandatory classification to include a position of grant writer facilitator. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We made no vote. We revisit in anticipation of the fall special time meeting, it seems. Um, I, I, this happened Thursday. Gentlemen, you'd have to fill me in. Yeah. I think we were confused as to whether or not we already had a grant writer. Um, no, we don't have a grant writer. In the selectman's budget, I thought there was. So there's a there's a there's a consultant. consultant line, and this would allow us to actually hire somebody using that budget line instead of it only being in the fee for service. Yeah, Cindy Thompson. The other question was yeah, last year. Yeah, but uh, we do send you more hours just for one grant. And someone who can help. Obviously, that was another question I had as to is she working just for that? And is this person going to be doing all of everything? Yeah, all the grants. Not as it's usual. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, she's going to be doing all of everything. Yeah, Mm -hmm. And we spent eighty thousand dollars of two hundred of eight hundred thousand dollars to have somebody else yeah. administer yeah. the CMEGD con contract, and so we could have done it for a whole lot less had we had somebody in place. That's so this is a reaction to yeah. paying eighty eighty thousand about eight eighty thousand of eight hundred thousand to somebody else to do this work. Mm -hmm. We could have done it a whole lot more efficiently. I'd like to make a motion that the advisory board also. Support Second. All in favor. Aye. Uh, this doesn't actually allocate funds, but just puts the, the 
a job description in place yeah. to go yeah. after the personnel. Yeah, list. we had to put that in the personnel, yeah. family yeah. and personnel bylaw committee. We, we had to get this it approved. Started, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so the special bylaws, this might come up as far as the personnel, it's, uh, whatever the. Yeah, the, 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 mo right. the motion will have the verbiage that needs to go into the personnel bylaws. Mm -hmm. And like what, you know, like what grade it would be well, in that, that bin. Well, we're waiting to see what the grades, because we don't know, because we're having the study done. Right. Right. But right. that's what we're waiting but for. But this gets the problem. Right, that's, that's that step in the yeah. words call yeah. is coming yeah. up. And, yeah. and this is, what, this creates the job, because we don't have that in the mandatory classification of jobs. Thank you. Okay. The next one is to see if the town will vote to amend Chapter 15 of the Personnel Bylaws. Section 2, mandatory classification to include the position of principal assessor. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No support. Yeah, we were supporting. <laughs> 42. See if the town will vote to pursue the provisions of Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 59, Section 38. Motion to support. Motion to support. Those in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, it's getting late. It is getting late. This may have more sense at the end, right? The bell works. Advisory voted to support. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The next one is to see if the town will pursue Mass General Law, Section 82A, Section 2, vote to designate the highway department as the town's office to issue permits for the purpose of creating a trench as the term is defined in Mass General Law, Chapter 82A, Section 4, and 520 CMR. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, I, I do not see this. this my, my notes say that we supported this in our last yes. meeting. Yes. Yeah. The We're on 46 right here? 43. 43. It's, it's mandated by yeah. the state, so that's yeah. where we right. have to Yeah, Highway Department trenches, uh, mm -hmm. town office mm -hmm. trenches. Got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, the next one is to see if the town will transfer a sum of money for available funds to the fleet repair and replacement account. And I motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Where are you guys? Advisors supported this. Cool. That's good. 45. To see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from general fund to the fleet and repair account or take any action. Motion to support. It's only been four years. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Where are you guys? Uh, sorry. Four, sorry. Four, uh, 45. That's the one on your sheet. You said that you wanted to go to Snow and Ice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Since it's being so it's reimbursement for blizzard, and we always we always have snow and ice stuff, so we figured that would be an appropriate place to put it. And anything damaged during a snow plow, as as we understand it, anything damaged during snow plowing operations, the repairs are charged against snow and ice. So if we're being reimbursed for repairs, and those repairs are paid for by snow and ice, it should our thought was then the reimbursement should go to snow and ice. But maybe we misunderstand. So you don't support that. You think it should go to snow and ice. So you're not supporting it? Correct. If our choice is to support or not support, then I think, well, we voted to support. We voted to not support the way it's written. Yes. Is that should go to snow and ice. Yeah, with, a with a recommended change. So I agree. We voted to not support it at all. Okay. And what you could always do, I mean, if you wanted to, to go to snow and ice, then you could always make an amendment on the town hall floor. Yes. No. So, this is another one of those accounts where if it's going to um, fleet repair replacement account as an article, it stays there. It doesn't move. Correct. Right. No, it's, it. no, that's where it stays. Okay. It stays until That's spent. something to consider. Okay. 46. To see if the town will approve the capital improvement plan for FY19 through FY24 with a provisional that individual capital items included in the plan shall be submitted by the appropriate department head or committee for town approval. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Advisory supports this. Another 
Okay, 47. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer, or borrow some of money as a debt service for the police station. Second for we need some discussion on this. Mm -hmm. So, and it's probably something we can work out with the moderator. There's a budgetary line for handling the police station debt that's in the operational budget. If we want to do this article, procedurally, I think what we'll need to do is put, oh, unless you all take that out of the budget, okay? Mm -hmm. You could take it, you, I think you would have to take that out of the budget in its entirety, because this includes the money that you have plus the 10, the, the 10 yeah. task for payback, right? So, yes. put a hold. so we would have to either zero it out on the operational budget or put a hold on it on the town hall floor and zero it out there, stating that when we get to Article 47, we need to either approve it at the level that it's printed in the operational budget or at the level recommended in the article. Okay, so so this article has to be passed either at 205 or at the 157 whatever that's sitting in the budget right now. Okay, so but procedurally we just have to be aware of that. But I certainly support. That. Would it be more efficient to on the floor modify the article to uh, make this uh, an additional appropriation against the police station debt? Of what the 51,000? Yeah, 51,000. And that way the operational budget can remain constant and then this just moves the money. Actually, like that, that's probably the smart way to do it. Well, this, um, what, this was sponsored by the treasurer's office. Right, he, he had said it was at 205, yeah. but we should check with him. But we've got to work yeah. it out between the treasurer and the moderator to see this. Mm -hmm. By, by the way, the first time we saw this was capital planning came up and, and, and essentially supported this. And what they saw were three years worth of this they projected yep. with different amounts each year right so yes. it seems reasonable to keep the yeah. and and, and, I'm, and i'm sorry i thought that if the 205 was included in the article and it's just in that advisory line of how much it's going to be so really that advisory line i would just say let's check with keith but change yeah. it to the fifty-one thousand, and then leave it alone in the town yeah. budget because the, the 205 includes principal and interest yes yes okay because here it's uh, yeah, 155, but it's two different lines. So. Is it 155 yeah. across the two different it's lines? 115 and 40. For yeah. The yeah. 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 So yeah. that, and then there's, this is being so, at 51. So I think to, in order to not confuse the townspeople, let's, let's move that 51. Only have the text that says the 51,000. Like okay, but for the, the, the explanation. sake of the article, this has to stay. So the article stays the way it is, correct? And you're going to fix it on the floor? No, because I think that number is just an advisory number. It's not what the 51. No, the 205. No, no that well, that well, yeah, it's it came not, from it, Keith. It, the number came from Keith, but right. it's after the period is there too, so it's not in the motion, or it's not in the Warren article itself. It's just like we've got the 18. Oh right, you, oh, oh got it. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. I just okay. added it. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm going to ask him to change that to the. Uh, yeah, just I would just have the 51,000 on there. I wouldn't have 205. We're going to change that to the 51,737. Okay. It would be a no-brainer to add another 51,000 to that. Okay. And I think that would be, you know, yeah. make a big sign up here in front of the town hall. Yeah. Just so what they know where it's going. Yeah, that way we're paying down the debt faster. Yeah. So okay. Um, on an operational note, just going forward in future years, would it make sense to separate, to have the warrant article text and then separate that with discussion and notes? make it more obvious what is being approved and what's informative text. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds like a deal. Yeah. You're right. So, so do you guys thing. agree on this? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Yeah, we support it. Yeah. Okay, 48. See if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money to fund the fiscal 2019 ample support. Second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an every year article. Okay, same with, same with 19. I'll make a motion to approve 40, 49. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 50. And 50 is the same thing because this comes from. There. Oh, yeah, motion to support. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
You guys good? We yeah, support we it. Yeah. And the same on 51. We support Motion it all. Second. Yeah. 52. To see if the town will add a new bylaw which would be adopted and become Chapter 2, Section 22 of the Town Bylaws and reads as follows. Prior to setting the tax rate each year, the Town of Brookfield must have a town meeting for the citizens to consider an article on the amount of free cash to be used to reduce the tax rate. If I remember right, didn't we decide already to pass over yes, all of these articles? Yes, that's why I wrote about those. We didn't so have we don't a, support it. We, no, we don't, because right. there wasn't okay. any explanation of why they even wanted to do it. So, why and, and by the way, Mr. Cook is aware. I did call okay. him and tell him that you uh, okay. were looking planned on so, having him to pass in. over, okay. and he said that's fine so as we'll long as you do address it later. 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. And 57. No. 57 is um, caused by the fire yeah. alarm. Yeah. Do we, so want, to, do we want to pass that? No. No. So we want to pass over. Mm -hmm. From well, at least we're not going to support it. In the book, we'd say not support No. Not support it. No. 52 to 57. Yeah. Yeah. To 57. I'd like to ask about 56, the annual town meeting held on the second Wednesday of June this year, or take it. Um, like, why not? You know, rather than a Friday night? Because it's hard to get. We have tried all different nights for town meeting, and you can't, you can't find a, a night or a day that anybody, and that's in the middle of the week. I don't think you're going to get somebody to come into a town meeting and stay up. A lot of town meetings might run until 11 30. And, so and, 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 and I don't think on a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I've been to many town meetings in other towns that go well into the evening. You know, I'll speak. To Broomfield, um, that there are no mouths when it comes to long meetings, and um, they have them on Mondays. Um, I, I just think it's a good idea. I think I think one of the reasons people we might have an attendance problem is because of Friday nights. If, if I'm correct, um, it's just going to be a recommendation to yeah. so they still get to they still get yeah. out, right? Oh, yeah. so we'll, we'll the, still get right? Yeah. Pass them over because they never gave us any explanation why they wanted any of these on. So that's what we want to discuss with them, and if we could even put them on in the fall. We used to have a lot of them 11, 11 30 at nights. Uh, oh, yeah, we've had late nights. <laughs> They're all gone, those people. They're not here anymore. Ah, uh, you've got half an hour. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's in our court. Uh, which numbers? 52 Two. to 57. 57. Do I hear a motion to pass over? Sounds like a town meeting vote. I saw yeah. 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 Articles 52 to 57. Well, you, it's either do you support or not support because it's up. No. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll say pass over on the record and passing over on the floor. All right. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Well, what, I'm sorry, what's the motion? Okay, the motion is essentially the same as the selection, which is to, is to um, not, not act on articles 52 through 57. I'll make that motion. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, okay, now here's on 58. This, this is the, uh, another one, transfer some money from free cash. Oh, we want to do this. We want to. Free cut. Cash I'll make the motion. Yeah. I'll make the motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so we're all done with that. Linda, I just want to say that I talked to Mr. Pragnell this morning. Mm -hmm. He said he's pretty sure even with passing over the bylaw committee articles that it's going to be more than one night. Yeah, we think it will. So I did um, send an email over to the school because he's, he made a good suggestion to get two or three dates and then we'll have them at hand when the, when, when the cafeteria is available and then you can decide if you decide to extend it you'll yeah. have some dates to choose from and you can probably get better attendance that way we, we, i see i do not see it indicated anywhere here our vote was to Meeting Tuesday, but by the way, I did, one of the dates I did ask for was uh, the, the Friday after, but then also the, the next day, Saturday. 
Okay. Well, let's see what they're doing. Yeah. 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 The town meeting. So I'll have my clock. Yes, either go to the next day or the next week. No, we need to go until the next week. Yeah, yeah. And so we, but we have to get the permission yeah. from the school yeah. that they can have the next week. On Tuesday, we're going to do the recommendations on this plus all these other. I don't know what we're going to do. It depends on what free cash comes back. It depends on what free cash comes back. It depends on what free cash comes back. Carrie said that she get together with me. Linda, I miss some money. I need to say that. I don't have it. In which case, we may have to make some hard decisions right before we go on the floor. I don't have it. We're actually just like, wait, wait. Is that it in the middle of all the way there? Yes, that's it. Lee, Lee, Lee. Is that the folder for the articles we all signed? I'm missing one of, I'm missing one of my tra re municipal uh, trans. That's it. Oh, 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 Let me go a folder right in front of, okay. No, that's not it. It's right there. No, just a, this committee, our committee needs to vote on article 58. Let me see, I want to see you? if it's the right. There was one that we were worrying for. Right. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one I'm waiting for you to sign. Is that the one for the Recreation Commission? No, one? this is for the uh, Assistant Treasurer of Wages. Yeah, but it was, I think that, is that the one taking money from? South Rex Pond and, and physical exam expense and. Well, yeah, I don't see it. Is that, is that the physical one exam and No, no, that's the one that Bob was not all right with. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one that Bob was. I'll pay him a little Well, do you want do you want to sign it and then I'll I'll double check with her if there's an issue. And I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure she must have checked. They don't have to. They don't have to sign tonight. That's going to be done as late as the 15th okay. of July. Okay. From the standpoint of municipal trash. She's going to she's going to okay. find out. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's be honest. Yeah. We want to be honest. And we're going to have more anyway. Okay. This, no, no, no. This is sort of our, you know, it, it, advisor. We have a, we have a vote we need to make. Okay, Article Fifty Seven to see that the town transfers some money from free cash to stabilization or take any action here too. Clarification: That's fifty-eight on the fifty-eight. Yes. Yes. That's what yeah. I said. You said fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Fifty-seven on the curb cut. Okay. Yep. Uh, do I hear a motion? So I'll second the discussion. Okay. And just just quickly, I don't understand. It's like the amount that we actually transfer will be will be based on what we get certified as free cash. Yes. Less anything that we voted to spend during the county. Yes. And then whatever that balance is, what usually we do is we set up the, the starting amount in a spreadsheet. We start counting down as we spend it, yeah, and, then, and anything that's left goes into stabilization. Mm -hmm. You know, and if we have a target for putting back in stabilization, that may affect our actual rec final recommendations on some of these things. That's the best we've been we trying to do for the last two weeks to get yes. the, the two things lined up so we know prior to the meeting when to get yeah. but, I mean, but that's going to be driven by free cash, which is not something that we can control by doing spreadsheet. Right, no, but all, all we do was estimate what we thought. Well, there is. I can show you how to do the math. We're waiting. Yeah, but, but free, free cash depends on what comes out of the accountant's office. Well, no, the state the state approves it. You have to send in what you call Schedule A and a balance sheet. Mm -hmm. And once those, it's, a, it's checks and balances. And then once that is done, then they will certify free cash. Okay. But and yeah. we really won't know what the amount is until it comes back. So we'll just have to yeah. get together my, with the town yeah. accountant. My point was that the free cash amount will get, we will get pulled with the free certified free cash amount. Is It's not something that we can figure out by the No, price. no, no. It's, we will, yeah. We're told by the Department of Revenue what we get back in free cash. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's the estimate that we're working on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah anyone your commit your board or the advisory board talk about quotas for the town employees what is the projected amount uh, this that they will be getting yes. uh, we, we have a uh, motion for discussion on can we ask mr Holdcraft to pose this question for a moment so that we can finish that business and then move yes. on to this question yes we, we're not done dave okay thank you dave so um any further discussion on uh, vote on Article 58? No. 
No. It, it's just, it's in principle, it's not a dollar amount yet. Yeah. But we know we have that money from last year's amount, but we don't know exactly what it's going to be until we can free cash. Correct. Right. Yes. We're saying we will be committed to at least discuss it. Because the town of Cotton will be there that night and she keeps track of all of that. So we will know, you know, what we have left to transfer mm -hmm. into stabilization. Okay. Uh, motion uh, to support uh, is, is made. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Um, can you answer Dave's question quick? Because we, uh, you'll have to, because we have other things to go over. Yeah. Our, so, our, can we so hold we, this off um, until two? Correspondence. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it on Tuesday. We can put it on Tuesday. Sure. If you're in a hurry. Um, Dave, we are. Yeah, but so we are looking at it. We had to do the 50 mile thing just so that we know oh, okay. how I'm going to respond. And we, she did already sign the letter, the letter of support, which yes, I'm going to pass it over to tomorrow. Regardless, it, but we need to know what we're doing. So just that—that that would be the only one that okay. I. Would. Okay, and then we can do the other ones. And might as well just do. How about this one? But they have—they want the question. Yeah. Okay, what's, the question? what's the question? Um, yes, we, we uh, the research we've done, we're looking at either a two or two point five percent cohort. And and the board selecting the age. We haven't really discussed, we haven't discussed it. it. No, we haven't discussed it. The, the state of Massachusetts this year was three percent, and we're recommending something lower than that. And other regional towns are within that area. So, um, we just have some agenda items as far as uh, hosting our next meetings and various stuff like that. I, however, you'd like us to handle that while we're in session here. Can you give us five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Into the kitchen or no, 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 no. no. <laughs> just, just, it yeah, should take us about go. five minutes. Can you, to, yeah, can you give us about five minutes to finish up our part? The rest of our meetings? Perfectly fine. Yep. Okay. All right. Under other, uh, we were one of 11 Central Mass communities right. to receive grants to prepare for climate change. And um, we received $28,000, and we want to thank Cindy Thompson down at the Highway Park. Absolutely. Cindy does an excellent job with the grants. She does. So, when we hit on the 50 mile yeah. thing? Why don't so, you hit the 50 mile thing and then we can do the other two next week? There is a, a walk plan from Worcester to Springfield. They plan to be here on June the 27th between 7 and 9 p.m. Uh, uh, the Unitarian Church is supporting their stay over, uh, and they're saying other oh, churches. Brookfield Congregational Church cannot support mm -hmm. the overnight because AA meets that evening, and so that doesn't work. But what we're going to suggest is that we'll buy them breakfast, take care of breakfast mm -hmm. for them in the morning. So that's what I'm going to respond okay. on the basis of the church. And then I, we already signed, had a letter of support to allow this on the roads, and we've talked to the chief. He, separately, they're, they're contacting yeah, they're, the chief. Yeah, they're yep. separately contracting the chief, but we the have given them ones. approval to be on the road. Okay. I'm good. Okay, so that is to adjourn. Mo yeah, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. At 922, Aye. is that what you have? So what, uh, th what this committee, um, I just wanted to uh, inform, I'm going to be posting our next three meetings, which are uh, <coughs> Thursday, Tuesday. June 7th, Thursday, Thursday, June 14th, okay, and then Thursday, excuse me, Friday, June 15th, is the annual town meeting, which starts at 6.30. The special starts at 6.30. I'll be posting our meeting at 5, excuse me, at 6 p.m., and it is to meet with the Board of Selectmen, and we, and we just go through uh, uh, sort of our, like our last review of warrant articles and things like that. It's a preliminary thing that happens in, so to speak, a second room. We've already adjourned, but I just want to ask, when are you going to have the comment? I'm going to stay and finish this tonight. Oh, Karen. Oh, I have to go. That's a very good show.
Madam Chairman, I just want to board it and do public access. Uh, we changed that. We took it off. You must have had one of the older ones. Because no, it's right here. It says right on the agenda. No, Dave. Right, but it was changed it because was changed. of the time constraints. We what changed it because of the time constraint. We have them. It's right here. You can see. We need it. Um, it's right here. We put them out and we took public access off. When you can change them? The cookies. Yeah. We, have a change we uh, had to change it because of the length of the meeting. Well, we should have it at the beginning. We this was, the seventh, this we was represent the people on this, the first This, was, was, a, a, the this was a working meeting, you see. It's just, it's just, yeah, so I might just have a public access meeting. Now, okay. Okay. Said. Oh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. that yeah. is over. Some people uh, don't even have it. Some towns don't even have public access. Well, we're not in a town that we're small enough to start with this. Well, other small communities don't have it. And it's a decision that the board is selected. Yes, we're looking for a final budget. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Fishing gear is coming over here. But I know what it tells us. Yeah, and they request you one. 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 Could you uh, give me your phone number and let you know whether or not I come in? And that's over at Rice Connor, that's right across from where the old Terry property is. Yeah. And they'd like me to come over to You were <laughs> my I, 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 I almost yelled at Ian Gobi and I said, you know, you people uh, we're getting screwed in this town because I'm 40% of non taxable. Okay. And that's, that's like 40 acres over there of non taxable, but yet the water comes across. I understand at the time it might have been legal. Yeah. It's not. So it's not true. I would call me back. Yeah, I've got three plus. So you can be here at 1 o'clock. Well, that's why I asked. What is the quantity? I'm, I'm quoting 1,500. Do we want to meet up here? Well, that's what I was going to say. It's going to be closed. I was going to open it up just in case. I don't know if she's going to call me. Oh, it's not like we have to have one. She just rides up and down the street. I don't know what the yeah, looks like. No, we have to have it. Well, maybe you should call her and say you need it. I'm going to go first thing in I just want to take them out to Rice Farm Road. I don't want them to leave some yet. OK, so I'll then, yeah, I'll, I'll be up there. I'll be up there for a while. OK. Yeah. I'm going to go to one of them. <laughs> no, I, I, I just went yes. this morning and I put two arrows with so the post yeah, this yeah, one, yeah, one yeah, wife says, I didn't see any pipe. I goes, well, did you go there when it was wet? He says, no, I says, well, <laughs> you need to pay attention here because yeah. Yeah. you guys don't have to the, uh, like to, uh, the motion system and the pipe comes out right into the second. So you can't stop. Now, are they going to have the, the same okay, problem on uh, 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 this new house? Uh, 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 our there? next meeting is, the new house is Thursday the 7th, Thursday the 14th, okay. Russ, yep. and then uh, we call the ladies, okay, uh, on the uh, town meeting Friday the 15th. That, uh, we, we need yeah, to be here for 6 p.m. All those will be posted.